to my channel don't forget to comment like and subscribe i hope you guys stay with me through the whole video i did a tutorial and i think i'm gonna do a little story time with it kind of make it a little juicy we're gonna see i'm still debating on it because i got a story that i want to tell and then i'm like but do i really want to tell that but shit why not so this is the intro don't forget to comment like and subscribe 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 and let me guys know what you think about this video and i will see y'all in the next one how did my makeup turn out? i think it turned out pretty good not bad so hey y'all once again welcome back to my channel so basically i was just getting ready to step out for a little bit and well for one i'm laying down so if my voice sound kind of you know whatever i'm laying down um but i wanted to come on here and do this voiceover so i was doing my makeup or whatever and i was just like uh, i kind of want to do a story time so why not just do a voiceover and then you all will have something to watch while you listen to my uh uh fiasco <laughs> so it's so crazy um we was kind of talking about this in the shop the other day about like you know you know as women we have like that woman's um intuition and sometimes we ignore it like i honestly feel like say <clears throat> so basically say you're in a relationship right and um i feel like you don't have to go looking and you don't have to go prowling through like your spouse phone or you know his personal things i always like i really do stand by like what's done in the dark will come to light and if it's something that's meant to be brought to your attention you're definitely you're going to find out without even searching. It is going to come and like fall in your lap. And um, that's so crazy because <laughs> this like this happened to me. So basically, um, once upon a time, long time ago, <laughs> LOL, I had caught my ex cheating. And I'm talking about like red handed cheating and the type of shit that you hear about like you know movies or some it was like some old Tyler Perry type shit it was just crazy it it had me traumatized for a long time but eventually you know whatever so basically um let's get into the story so this one particular day um I was getting ready for work and the person that I was with at the time I kind of noticed the change of behavior like a few days prior like to where it stood out like it was just the it was just like it was like the atmosphere was just like real thick but for to me at the time it was like for no reason like damn like what's wrong with you like why you know why every day you seem to have an attitude or you just in a little funky ass mood and I didn't at you know I really didn't pick up on it I'm just like damn homie you know tripping and just woke up the last three days with an attitude or whatever situation may be so I just kind of brushed it off but I still kind of had this little bit of feeling like, mm, you know, I kind of know how you get down. You be on some bullshit and then you want to walk around this motherfucker mad at me, you know? So, um, I can't exactly remember, but I'm going to just say, like, I noticed the change behavior probably like three days prior to, you know, all the bullshit taking place. So let's just get to the third day. Let's just say it was the third day. So it was the third day, um, you know, I'm getting ready for work. And that was an early day for me. So, yeah, it was weird because, you know, um, let's just say, let's name him. Do we need to give him a name? Should we say Kevin? Okay, 
cool. Let's call him Kevin. So anyways, Kevin was getting ready too. And I'm just like, where the hell are you going this early? In my head, but I ain't really say nothing or whatever. So they earn their clothes, doing what they're doing or whatever. So bam, um, I go to work. And while I'm working, my stomach was just like turning like in knots. It was real crazy. Like I just, I wasn't like, I just was, I felt kind of like troubled or whatever. Something was heavy on me and I didn't quite know what it was, but I, like I was thinking about him a little bit, like to myself, like that nigga on some bullshit. That's kind of how I felt a little bit. So it was so crazy because, um, the way how my, like, that would have been, so let me see, that first client I was doing and then my next two canceled, which caused me to go home early because, you know, my my clients canceled. So I go home and then I see that that person haven't made it back yet. So I'm like, damn, where the, where the hell did I call while I was at work? I kind of think I did. I don't know. I'm not sure. So maybe I called earlier. I think I did probably call earlier. And that, yeah, I did. And that person never answered the phone. So I'm like, oh, okay, cool. Get off early. Come home. That person not there. So I called my mom. But it was so crazy. Once I got in my house, my stomach was just really just turning and turning. And I knew it. I was like, something ain't right. Something going on. The nigga on some like straight fuck shit. I just felt it. So then I had called my mom, and I'm talking to her on the phone, and I'm telling her, I'm like, you know, I think Kevin uh, cheating on me. I think he messing around with somebody or whatever, and I think he with somebody. And she was just like, you know, same thing I said. She was like, well, if he is, it'll come to light. Like, she was like, don't even, you know, don't worry about it. You know, like, if he doing what he doing, you know, you gonna find out, you know? And so... She really went on what I really wanted to hear. She was just trying to, like, make ease of the situation. Because, <clears throat> you know, I didn't have no facts. It was just, like, a feeling I had. But as women, like, we know. Like, when you get that feeling inside or when you wondering, if, you know, if a, you know, if a nigga on some, like, bullshit. Like, when you thinking like that, nine times out of ten, that's what it is. That's just, from my experience, I feel that, you know, that's just how that shit go like you know what I'm saying we always get a warning you know without nobody telling us nothing so anyways I get off the phone with her and then I'm sitting there and I'm sitting there and I'm I swear I was sitting on my couch the tv went on or nothing I was just like dazed out and I was just like bam I was like he fucking off on me and I know where he at and I was like, he been fucking off these last few days. That's why he been acting like this. Because I'm going to say a friend of his had went out of town. So their house was like vacant for um, however long they were supposed to be gone. Let's just say that person was gone like a week. So I'm sure that his friend told him that he was leaving out of town or whatever like that. And, you know, probably come check on the house if he get a chance. I'm just saying that happened like that, but it probably didn't. But something told me that my spouse at the time was over there at his friend house with company since the house was, since he had the house to himself. Well, not that he had the house to himself since he had access to the house. So I get in the car. I was like, I'm finna go over there. I jumped off that couch. I was like, I'm finna go over there. He over there. And I tell you, the it's like the closer I got, the the head the it's just like the feeling was just like my stomach was just turning and turning and turning. So I had called my girlfriend on the phone and I'm like, you know, woo woo woo. I was like, I think he cheating, you know, I think these last few days you know, he been um, with somebody, you know, or whatever like that. And I got a feeling I know where he at. And she like, what? I'm like, yeah. And I was like, I'm on my way over there right now. And she was like, damn. She was like, I don't know. She was just like, 
uh, I can't quite remember what she said or whatever, but so <clears throat> I make my way. I'm I'm getting closer and closer to, you know, um, his friend house or whatever. So bam, I his friend kind of had it was like a new place. So I didn't quite I knew where to go and I knew the area, but. It's like once I got to a certain street, I had kind of got lost because I think I had only been over there maybe once or twice, you know, since his friend got this new place or whatever. So I just it was just so freaking crazy. Like I didn't know no streets. Like once I hit the neighborhood, I didn't know no streets. I didn't it, I didn't really know where to turn. But I was just like. I don't know. I was like, I got to find this house again because this this where this motherfucker at. So, bam, I get down this particular street and then I kind of noticed that it was kind of like a corner sack, I want to say, maybe or whatever. I'm like, that's that house right there. So I pull up. I'm pulling up. And mind you, I got my girlfriend on the phone, too, this whole time. And I was like, ooh, I had took a deep breath. Like, Excel, I was like, ooh, girl. Ain't no cars out there. I was like, his car ain't out there. He ain't over there. I was like, maybe I'm tripping or whatever. So I bust a U-turn to take my ass back home. I kind of was like, at that second, I felt a little bit of relief because I'm like, yeah, I'm you tripping, girl. Like, he ain't over there. So then I get to the stop sign to get out the neighborhood, and I'm like, wait a minute. And I tell my girlfriend, I'm like, that nigga car could be in the garage. I was like, I'm going back. She was like, girl, I think she told me don't go back. I think she might have told me to just go and go home or whatever like that. And I was like, no, nah. I'm like, he there. I'm like, that car in the garage. I was like, I. it seemed like the when I, I, I swear, y'all, when I went to turn out the neighborhood to go to go home, it's like, the feeling came back like hella strong and like I told you I had like that second of relief but as I was about to leave the neighborhood it just came it's like something was just like go back so bam I bust a u-turn and I parked my car down the street and I was like I'm gonna walk up to the house or whatever so now um I'm walking up to the house and then as I get closer to the house and I'm kind of standing like in front of the driveway, but I ain't really put my, I hadn't touched the driveway pavement yet, but I'm about to like walk up on it. I hear music playing and um, I'll never, <laughs> i never forget. It was like some old R. Kelly shit playing. Yeah, that shit was crazy as hell. And I'm like, I told my homegirl, I was like, bitch, he in here and he in here with another you know, whoop, you know, I got it. YouTube wants you to cut back on the cussing or whatever. But I'm like, oh, my God. I'm like, he in here, girl. She like, what? I'm like, it's music playing. And the way how his friend house was, it was like a front window. And the front window was like kind of in front of the driveway, you know, something like that. And it was cracked. I was like, girl, I was like, the window is cracked. I was like, I'm going in there. And she like, no. Nah. She like, no, nah, don't go in there. Like, and I'm like, no, nah, I'm going in there. And it's so crazy. I had some tights on. I, I ain't had no pockets. I think I had a shirt on and some tights or whatever. So I ain't had no pockets or nothing. I was like, I'm about to put my phone in my pants. I was in my tights. I was like, and you stay on the phone. I said, cause I'm finna climb through this window. And so, bam, I did that. And what's so crazy is. <clears throat> I climbed through the window, so I got one leg in the window, and I got one leg straddled, like, out the window. So, as I go to swing my other leg, like, in the window, it's like a couch right there. So, it's not like you can step onto the floor. You're going to step onto the couch. So, I stepped onto the couch, swung the other leg in, and then I stepped off the couch but I didn't hit the floor. It was an ashtray on the floor. So it was, and it was a glass ashtray. So I hit the ashtray first. So it, it kind of, my foot kind of tipped the ashtray and it made it like, it made it like, not, 
it didn't like tilt over it made that motherfucker skip like I hit it and it went tink 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 across the floor and I hurried up because I knew they heard me I hurried up and it was a um it was another room right next to the room that where I climbed in the window and so I already knew what was going I already I, I just knew it I hurried up and I ran into that room and uh yeah that's where you know I caught you know I caught a motherfucker red handed you know as they say <laughs> sometimes you know you know in the streets they be like yeah caught a nigga with his pants down type shit like so yeah <laughs> It was one of those type of situations, and yeah, I swear to God, y'all, that shit right there, I, it was, it was just, it's so crazy talking about it, because, you know, that shit was wild, like, I was just like, damn, like, you know, so, you know, me and him, we start, you know, we, you know, went, we, we, t you know, we tussled and we, we, it was just from the front of the house to the back of the house. And it was just so crazy because in the midst of me, like tripping and yelling and, you know, um, I, th at one point, I think, I don't know if. I don't know if my legs were straddled around him or I don't know if, I don't know, but it's like I was directly in his face or I, I kind of feel like I have a straddled on him or something and I was just like, you know, you know, are you serious? And I said, you know, some of everything or whatever. I don't really want to go into all that type of detail. But the look in his eyes, and I just knew, I was just like, at the, I knew, I was like, it's over. And mind you, like, I'm cussing and I'm fussing and, you know, we fighting and stuff or whatever. And really not him. He didn't, you know, all, only thing that he really did was try to keep me, you know, restrained and stuff like that, you know, I went towards the kitchen, trying to grab shit, like, it was just crazy, and, um, but his eyes had this, it had, like, a gloss, it, it was, like, wasn't no tear, well, it seemed like his eyes, yeah, his eyes was, like, tear, like, teary, like, they had tears in them, but not, nothing fell, but, he was in shock and I was in shock and I think at that moment I think we both knew that it was like finally it was over like this was it and um in the midst of me you know um tripping and stuff like that it's like I had told myself like inside my head not told myself but inside like I was just like, God, get me out of here. Get me out of here. Because all I saw was rage. You know, I wanted to really just, like, harm him in the worst way possible. But I was just like, God, like, get me out of here. And, I, and bam, I just, like, stopped acting like a wild animal. And I just walked out the door or whatever the situation may be. And, uh... I was just like, I had called um, his mom, I had called my grandma or whatever, and I know for sure I was telling my grandma, I was like, uh, I was like, I'm done, I was like, I'm done, and you know, I told her what happened, you know, and I was not like this calm telling the story, but I, you know, I told her what happened, um, and I told her, I was just like, I'm done. I was like, I'm never going back, you know. And all she kept telling me was just like, you know, lady, calm down, calm down. And, you know, where are you type stuff. Because, I mean, I think I was hyperventilating. I was like, 
when I looked in the, when I got in that car and I looked in that mirror, I didn't even know who the hell I was. My mouth was like white, like I had been um, eating powdered donuts. My hair was like all over my head. Um, yeah, I just looked at like a werewolf, like I looked at like a, I looked at like, I don't know. I just, I don't know. I looked scary to myself. It was just like so weird. Like, but I was just like, that's it. Like, it's finally over. And, you know, this particular relationship, you know, it was a long, it was a long ride off and on for a long, long, long time. Oh, excuse me. I didn't make myself sleepy on my own story time. But, um, yeah, I was just like, it's over. Like, I ain't never going back no more. And that's so, that's, that's one thing, like, as women, like, so moral of the story is, you know, follow your intuition. Like, when you feeling those things about your spouse or whatever like that, nine times out of ten, what you feeling is right, you know. But don't go looking for it or whatever. It'll all come to you. Um, trust and believe that it will all come to the light whatever that person is doing you know what I'm saying so you just have to um you can sit back and ride it out or you can you know I say just sit back and um don't ever go looking for no shit you know what's meant to be will be and what's meant to find you will find you and uh deliver whatever message need to be delivered you know so yeah that was kind of um that was a long story <laughs> told the quickest way possible you know and the the girl she didn't know about me uh, I think she said she thought he told her that was his house or something like that so yeah that shit was wild but we've reached the end of the video if you guys like this video and want more story times just let me know and I can do another one so how did my makeup come out did you guys pay attention to the makeup tutorial or no <laughs> really quick y'all i wanted to add um did y'all notice how everything had fell in my lap from my clients canceling on me from me going home you know that light switch just clicked in my head you know nobody called my phone and said oh he's such and such place he over such and such house like nobody called me and said nothing I hadn't went through no phone. I hadn't saw, like, I didn't see anything. Like, it's just like my intuition told me everything. And then I also think um, whatever I saw that day, that was meant for me to see. Because that was the only way, you know, at that moment during that time, I think that relationship, that was the only way it was going to end if, you know, I, I guess... God was like, God damn your ass hard headed. Okay, well, let me give it to you raw. And he did. <laughs> he did. And uh, I definitely, um, I learned my lesson. And I pay attention to, you know, the vibe I get, you know, with people now in all situations, um, relationships, friendships, all that. Um, I pay attention to all that because I'm telling you, if something is not right, your body going to let you know, like you're going to feel it in the inside, you know, and then, um, you know, it's just, it's gonna, it, it burns inside. Like you just kind of can't really let it rest. That's when you know something ain't right. So, um, yeah, if y'all want a part two, um, to that, which would be, you know, the healing process and, Cause that was, that one right there, that was a rough one to recover from, you know, that, that took a long time for me to finally heal from that situation, especially when, um, you see some shit like that, like, you know, that one was tough, you know what I'm saying? So one day I will talk about that, you know, the aftermath of it or whatever, and then, um, you know, where we stand today, you know, mm. well, 
catch up on that in another video but yeah you guys go press the subscribe button right now please <laughs> come on run the numbers up on my channel no i'm just kidding but yeah if you did if you enjoyed this video please subscribe hit the like button and comment and i'm out this time i'm not coming back i'll see y'all on the next vlog